welcome back to my Japan series. We travel from Tokyo to Kyoto, and for our last destination in Japan, we are now in Fukuoka. We'll be in Fukuoka for five days. Tune in as we eat lots of good food, eat our way through different yatais, and explore the outskirts of the city like Yanagawa and Itoshima. For our first day in Fukuoka, we didn't do much since we were exhausted from back-to-back -back jam packed days in Tokyo and Kyoto. We essentially ate the whole day while exploring and enjoying the cityscapes of downtown Fukuoka. I didn't feel the pressure. Yeah. Wait, something is in the middle of the cookie. Is that even break? Destroy the mayor. Destroy the mayor. I think there's strawberry inside here. Canal City Hakata has to be one of the most beautiful and biggest malls I've been to. We wanted to dedicate a day to go shopping because we still needed to pick up some souvenirs to bring back to the states for our friends and family, and this was definitely the perfect place to go. This place is also the home to the well-known ramen stadium located on the top floor where you can find up to 8 ramen stalls serving different types and styles of ramen.
Today we took a day trip to Yanagawa. This town has these beautiful canals that runs through the city, and we wanted to come here to enjoy the beautiful scenery along with trying one of the many activities here, the boat punting tour. It was around an hour train ride from downtown Fukuoka, which isn't bad at all. Compared to taking the subway in New York City, it's kind of like going from Queens to Mahan. If you're planning a day trip to Yanagawa, I have a separate video showcasing more of this beautiful town. I'll link it in the corner of this video if you want to check it out. For our fourth day in Fukuoka, we decided to explore Hakata Station, which is the largest railway station in the Kyushu region. Under one roof, you can find all sorts of shops from department stores to specialty foods, restaurants, and even a supermarket and a food court. We didn't do any research prior to coming here and was actually lost for about 40 minutes trying to go back to where we came from. We visited Japan during the springtime so the beaches weren't open to the public because it was still too early on in the year, but definitely no regrets because we were still able to catch these beautiful views along the seaside and this was probably one of our favorite experiences during our time in Fukuoka. For our last dinner in Japan, we dined at Hakata Isho, which is highly praised by visitors and even the locals. This was definitely the perfect last dinner. <laughs> 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 
this officially wraps up my Japan trip and as a first time visitor, I feel very blessed to have had such a great travel experience here and I can't wait to come back. Also, if you had a chance to visit Japan, which region would you want to go to? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you soon!